Outdoors Del Marva covers everything outdoors, including real fishing and hunting situations involving wildlife. We do our best each week to bring you tasteful content, but viewer discretion is advised. Now, enjoy the show. You're watching Outdoors Del Marva, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. This week, we'll stop by the Big 1077 studio and talk Lewis Polar Bear Plunge. We'll set up shop at the Millville Volunteer Fire Company's Outdoorsman's Marketplace. Scorchy Taws takes us by the Duck Decoy Factory in Oak Hall, Virginia. And we'll sit down at the Del Mar Diner to wrap up the 2023 Doe Harvest Challenge. Outdoors Del Marva comes your way right now. Welcome to Outdoors Del Marva, the show dedicated to a commitment of conservation and to the community that makes Del Marva's outdoors such a hidden gem here in the Mid-Atlantic. My name is Jason Lee, and just a word of caution, if you're going to tell really bad duck jokes, be prepared to be the only one that gets quacked up. This is Outdoors Del Marva, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. And now, here's Jason Lee. When it comes to charitable happenings here on Del Marva, the biggest question I get is, how can I help? Well, let's head down to the beach and see if we can't get you some answers. Every year we get at least 3,000 people who will jump in the ocean. It's a great weekend party that I look forward to every year because you get to see old friends, people I haven't seen in a year or haven't seen since some of the competitions. But um, through one of the events that we do is the chili competition, I got a chance to meet several athletes and their families. And just getting to know them and hearing the backstories and hearing about what they go through on a day-to-day -day basis inspires me to do whatever I can and whatever John asks me to do uh, to help such a great cause. I'm going to be jumping right in this year as part of the Draper Media team, and it's safe to say Steve is a little excited. I will be looking forward to watching yeah. you jump in. It's the first timers that I think I get the kick out of the most because they sort of know what they're in for, but they don't really know right. what they're in for. And once you do it, that's that's where the, the satisfaction will be because you will have a smile ear to ear. As a first-time participant, I asked Steve what advice he had for me and other first-timers. Pray for warm weather? <laughs> no. Um, my big, and I was just telling April this, actually, down the hallway, um, the, the, the best thing you can do is have something on your feet some kind of footwear, some kind of boat shoe, um, because the sand really, to me, is the coldest part. The water, you know what you're gonna get, and if it's warmer outside, the water feels colder. If it's cold air, the water seems warmer, but your feet, it's a constant. So feet, cover the feet. John Busby recognizes the vital importance of the volunteers, but there's a special group he wanted to call attention to. The biggest volunteer group and the most important volunteer group are the law enforcement officers, the paramedics, the fire personnel who are there, more than 100 people to make it such a safe plunge. Uh, we've done this now 31 years, this will be number 32. Never had a major injury or illness, and a big part of that is because of that volunteer group that's out there and part of it. We have a website just for the plunge. It's plungede.org or just Google Special Olympics Delaware Polar Bear Plunge. And on that site, you can get the information about the festival events that Steve was talking about. We have the 5K run and walk on Saturday. We have the Fire and Ice Festival at noon. We have the chili contest at 2.30. And then, of course, the big plunge at 1 o'clock on Sunday. People can sign up right there. And one of the things we always encourage people to do is try to put a team together. You know, it, it's, it catches. People catch. You know, they get the fired up about it. And so if you can put a team together and get some people to do it with you, it just makes it that many more people doing it, which means that's much more money for more than 4,000 athletes in Special Olympics. Again, to get more information on how you can get involved and all the activities happening during Plunge Weekend, go to plungede.org. Still to come, we'll head down to Oak Hall, Virginia to check out the Duck Decoy Factory in Scorchy's Corner. But up next, we head to Millville for the Outdoorsman's Marketplace. Outdoor Del Marva, presented by Gateway Subaru. We'll be right back. You're watching Outdoors Del Marva, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. Welcome back to Outdoors Del Marva. My name is Jason Lee. And if you're not really from Sussex County, you probably have never even heard of Millville, let alone been there. But you might want to put this event on your calendar for next year. 
Rich, this has been a really good day. A lot of people out here at the marketplace. What are your uh, What are your takeaways from today? This is great. We um, we cut down the amount of vendors by a few, so we'd have more room for people, which is obvious. We got wider aisles. Mm -hmm. People can walk around a lot more, which you notice. First two years we did this, it was shoulder to shoulder. It was yeah. so full. And, you know, with everything going on and all that, we need more space for people. Everybody coming out here is the outdoorsy types, mm -hmm. and that that's who's out here. And everybody's coming through, spending money. All the vendors are killing. It. It's been a good show. I've been ever since they opened. We're here every year. This is amazing for business, and it helps the fire company out. And we like the we like the the fire company, the first responders. Uh, I think it helps them. We like to help them too. This is the first time doing really? this show. Yeah. So um, we've done some shows on the Maryland side. This is our first show doing a show in Delaware. I love it. It's been a great experience. So um, Rich, who's put it together, has been great to work with. Um, help load out. I mean, it's been a good time. We're a traveling gourmet store. We do festivals, wine festivals, beer festivals, events like this, boat shows. And what, is, what it really boils down, we travel around, we bring unique flavors that you're not going to find in a grocery store. We have some really unique flavors and unique sauces, and um, you got to come see us because the things we sell here you can't find elsewhere. What are you anticipating for next year? Next year we're going to do the same thing. We'll have a nice variety of vendors. It'll be nice and spread out. I am limited to the amount of space that we have to work with. So we, we do the same thing, work with the same people that we can. And usually the same vendors can always come back. But that's a little fluid and it changes. Mm -hmm. This year, this was one of the hardest events to set up because of everything going on. Right. Supply chain problems, people getting sick at the last minute. We lost two vendors because they were positive for COVID. And I'm glad that they told us and they weren't coming. Yeah. You know, things like that. So, you know, you had we had to work around those obstacles, and I, I think we did fine. Yeah. And the fire hall guys, the whole crew, they've been amazing to work with. They always are. I think it's great. I haven't gotten to walk around yet, but um, it's also great exposure for us and the business. Great exposure for the dogs. Who doesn't love seeing a dog when they go out to an event or anything like that? But, yeah, I think it's great so far. This is our first time. Uh, True Grade was established in 2021. Uh, so we're fairly new, but uh, the traction and uh, response that we've gotten has been uh, well beyond our expectations. Um, so it's our first time here and we look forward to being here for many years to come. My business is Eastern Shore Books. Uh, I write about the folklore, treasure, things like that on the Eastern Shore. Been doing that for a while. My sport, which is why I'm here today, is metal detection, treasure hunting. This is the first time we've been here. It's really great. We've really enjoyed talking to a lot of people here about the sport. Uh, I, I'm overwhelmed by the uh, interest that people have come in here. I think this has been a great venue. I'm glad we're here. Fifty Crowds originated probably five or six years, well, ten years ago, with our daughter and daughter-in-law had it, and then they started having these little things called little babies. And then we took the business over, and it's uh, we try to keep everything nautical, um, as you can see, and uh, we just totally enjoy going to the shows. It's our out. And uh, we, we meet a lot of great people. So. Now, if there's a vendor out there who didn't get a chance to be here this year, or they didn't even know about it, and they're like, you know what, I absolutely want to be a part of this, how do they get in touch with you? Find, us, find me at Delaware Surf Fishing. Come to the Facebook page, send me a message. Um, go to the website, send me an email, and you can go from there. We're going to start doing some bigger shows again. We're, we're working on bringing back the other shows we were doing, just trying to find bigger venues. And yeah, we, we have a lot of stuff we're working on. Shows are fun. I love doing this. Yeah. And uh, for those who absolutely love this type of thing, uh, I'm going to invite you. I'm going to do a little selfish plug here. And uh, the Outdoors Del Marva Expo is coming your way in Harrington on April 22nd. So we hope that uh, maybe you'll swing by and see us. Might do that. Might even bend. You never know. There we go. As I just said, the Outdoors Delmarva Expo is coming to the Delaware State Fairgrounds in Harrington on Saturday, April 22nd. More details are coming soon, but if you're a business that specializes in anything outdoors and you're interested in being a vendor, we'll send us an email, outdoors at WBOC.com. Still to come, we'll show you why it can really pay off to hunt on Maryland's eastern shore. But up next, we head back to Scorchy's Corner for duck decoys. Outdoors Delmarva, presented by Gateway Subaru. We'll be right back. You're watching Outdoors Delmarva, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. Sponsored by Shorts Marine.
Welcome back to Outdoors Delmarva. Now, I'm not trying to fake anyone out, but we're making duck decoys in Scorchy's Corner. Honoring the life and legacy of Scorchy Taws. Thanks to Shorts Marine in Long Neck, Delaware. Shorts Marine, everything but the water. There are no signs of eggs, no sounds of quacking or honking. Yet, over one quarter million waterfowl are born here every year. This is a decoy factory on Route 13 at Oak Hall, Virginia. And the only smell is that of eastern white pine. Pine that comprises the body and soul of each of these assembly line imitations of winged creatures of the wild. Mallards, black ducks, canvas backs, pintails, wood ducks, geese, swan, and the list goes on. All are machine made by pattern, produced in quantities, yet meticulously fussed over by the 100 employees, all of whom have a hand in making a decoy factory decoy a credit to the rich tradition of Eastern Shore decoy carving. The skyrocket in prices of hand-carved birds admittedly has been a boon to the decoy factory, whose mass-produced birds are not only in great demand in the United States, but in many foreign countries as well. Finished fowl at the decoy factory are strictly ornamental. Beauties in their own right. Here you will not find a bird in the image of a Ward Brothers creation, swathed in hours of meticulous detail as only the old masters could do. What you will find is a high quality mass produced creation that is well within the means of the average Joe's wallet. Scorchy Taws won in our Del Marvelous Land for WBOC News. Remembering Scorchy Taws is presented by Shorts Marine online at shortsmarine.com. Did you know, according to the Guinness Book of World Records, the highest price ever paid for a duck decoy was a private deal for two A. Elmer Cromwell decoys for $1.13 million each. The preening pintail drake and sleeping Canada goose. Now you do. Did You Know is sponsored by North Bay Marina. Outdoors Delmarva will be right back. You're watching Outdoors Delmarva, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. Welcome back to Outdoors Delmarva. The relationship between hunters and farmers has never been more critical. And when it comes to crop preservation, well, sometimes it just pays off to get out there and hunt. Deer damage is the number one, number one issue, number one issue. And anything we can do to get people to go out and hunt deer and harvest deer the way they should be harvested is a good thing. The idea behind this is that it's not only just to get you know the hunters excited about getting out there and getting something, uh, not just a deer, but also pretty big payday. Yeah. We're doing this in order to help facilitate the farmers based upon what you told me. Yeah, based on the uh, crop damage. Uh, crop damage is getting worse every year. Um, very severe and we feel like we don't get much um, help at the state level, but this is one, one tool we could use to try to reduce the population a little bit and give back to the community with the uh, donation to the food bank. This whole harvest just, to me, makes sense, right? You've got deer that are destroying crops left and right. I mean, you think about green, but I look at my dad's 14 acres of Christmas trees and every other one's been destroyed by deer. So, you know, I don't know if you think about that, but it just makes sense. You've got an excess of deer destroying crops and you've got more hungry people every day, even now, so more so now with the economy as it is. How does the hunter, how does the farmer that's just now hearing about this, how do they get involved to make sure that they're staying on that leading edge of conservation and making sure that their farms stay intact as well. As far as um, participating in yeah. the Harvest Challenge, they can contact any of their uh, local Farm Bureau, County Farm Bureau for, for either county that they may be in. Is it going to do much good to contact <coughs> local elected officials? It would help. It would help. They need to be uh, aware of what we're dealing with. Um, we all complain about crop damage, but we never take the time to show them, 
show the uh, local officials mm -hmm. what the crop damage looks like and what the bottom dollar is and how it affects our wallet. Um, and that's something that we're all guilty of. We need to spend more time with our local officials to show them that. Is there anything else that that you want to make sure that the people of Delmarva, and, and I would imagine that this is only a matter of time before it starts to seep its way into the Sussex County area, maybe even Kent County, maybe even as far down as, you know, Accomack County, Northampton County, and the Eastern Shore of Virginia. Is there anything that you want to put out there to those individuals who are saying, you know what, how do we get something like this where we are? They could contact us at the Wacomico County Farm Bureau or Somerset, Worcester, or Dorchester, and we'd sit down and talk and explain what we've done, and uh, we'd be glad to work with them to help them get started. Due to time constraints, we weren't able to share with you our entire conversation. But if you would like to see the rest of it, make sure you check it out under our section, Outdoors Del Marva, under features at WBOC.com. When we come back, we'll wrap up the show with your latest photos. Outdoors Del Marva, presented by Gateway Subaru, returns right after this. You're watching Outdoors Del Marva, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. Sponsored by Shorts Marine. Welcome back to Outdoors Del Marva. It's time to flip through the photo album and take a look at your latest pictures thanks to our friends at North Bay Marina. Six year old Max Donaway of Snow Hill poses with this good looking buck that his dad Jason harvested with his muzzle loader at the end of December. Nine-year-old Tyler Bell is carrying on the family hunting tradition with his first quail. Pictured here alongside 11-year-old Bryson and dad Joshua, along with his hunting buddy Gage, the German short-haired pointer, who's getting ready to turn one in just a few days. Dylan Savage harvested his first deer, a 63-pound button buck he got using a 350 Legend rifle. He got the deer while hunting with his dad Gary. Sherry Abbott of Greenwood sent in this super cool picture of a bald eagle she took at Blackwater Wildlife Refuge. Pat Allegro Smith sent in some of the great photos she has in her portfolio. These were taken throughout Sussex County and you'll be seeing more from Pat in the weeks ahead. Outdoors Del Marva viewer pictures are sponsored by North Bay Marina. They say it's not the destination but the journey, but sometimes the destination looks pretty good. Noah Carter and Brian Mathias of Del Marva Sports Network shared some video of their hunting trip from last weekend. They set out for the marshes of Fishing Bay Wildlife Management Area in Dorchester County, hoping to harvest a whitetail or the ever-elusive sea cub. Despite not seeing any deer during the trip, it's always a good day to get out and enjoy the outdoors on Delmarva. What I want to do is I want to go maybe about like 100 yards in and then 100 yards to the right over here, and maybe we can get a uh, drive going. I'm going to send Brian to the other side and then have him go downwind, maybe push some white tail towards our area, seek it if we're lucky. Um, so yeah, let's get, let's get rolling. Well, that's our show. Don't forget, keep sending in those photos by emailing outdoors at WBOC.com. Remember that you can also like and follow the show on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, and you can see previously aired full episodes and segments over there on our YouTube. Until we meet again, I hope to see you outdoors, Delmarva. You've been watching Outdoors Delmarva, which is presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards and sponsored by Shorts Marine, everything but the water.